DV Smith back to the top. Last ben. year's winner, won his first World Cup here. Just come off a win at the last round in Bouncing wow. Ann. So on a high, riding incredibly. Back on the downhill bike this week. Of course, they used that special bike built for the World Championships. And, uh, well, Stevie Smith actually crashing on the first turn of that one. A nightmare for him, but he's put it behind him. And he'll be thinking back to Mont St. Anne when he produced, I think, one of the greatest runs we've seen in mountain biking. Coming down after the rain to take the win there and keeping his World Cup title hopes alive. And he's fastest at split number one, Cunny. 1.22 on the clock. And Hill looks to be opening this one right up. Only Get four up. guys to go after him. He has to be top five today if he wants to guarantee that, that not losing the uh, World Cup to GG. He has a real chance. Fastest qualifier if he wins. Smith has to be top five. So if he goes fastest now, he's in with a shout. He, he, can't, he can't lose the World Cup today. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that riding. Really looking good through that section. It was a massive step up for him last year, wasn't it, when he won at this event, showing that he was able to take it right to the top. And Stevie looking determined, coming out of there straight on the power. This could be a good run from Stevie this afternoon. He's got to be in such high spirits after that win at Mount St. Anne, taking it to G. Atherton. G was not happy to lose out that round, even though Stevie came down in real wet conditions there. Well, I think G probably knew just how important it might be in the overall standing. So Smith sets up high, perfect down there and fast as well. Didn't look like he uh, took that one cautiously at all. This is looking like a great run from Look Smith. at the pace he's carrying in here. Oh, out to the outside there as well. Going to square up now and set back up high across this camber. Pedaling, Cunny. Pedaling across this, that up. camber. 1.9 seconds up. So Stevie doing everything right this afternoon to hold on for contention for the series. This is Second a huge run for it. Drifting her in there. But uh, not looking like it loses too much time either, though. Getting back on those pedals as quick as he can. So where's he going to go through this rock section? Look at the wind on those tapes, Cully. Difficult conditions. It's perfect. Perfect riding from Smith. This is what we're used to seeing from him now. And uh, the momentum certainly with him at the moment in this year's World Cup. Dominated everything at Crankworks as well. So really been on fire in the later part of this season. What's Smith going to do through here? He is holding pace. Just when you see this guy looking at the track and the track, well, he just looks determined and angry, doesn't he? And he's going fast down this bottom section. I reckon we could be in for another fastest oh. time. Well, I don't think many guys probably live mountain biking, downhill racing as hard as Steve Smith, you know, trains, lives it. G's another one of these guys, technically brilliant, super fit as well. Look at the rain coming down. It's doing nothing to dampen those Steve Smith. What's the time going to tell us? One turn away. Is he going to go fast? Is he going to be that time of Danny Hart? Yes, he does. 1.641 up for Steve Smith from Canada. And he keeps his World Cup dream, overall title dream alive there with a fantastic run. So G now can't win the World Cup this year, no matter what. Sorry, he can't win the World Cup here. <laughs> yeah, can't win the World Cup today. <laughs> today, excuse so this me. Is it, the series Still battle. in with a shower winning the overall <laughs> the way he's been riding this year. Yeah, so that's it. The battle will go down to the final round in Lee again oh. next week. And Stevie Smith just giving it everything, drifting into that corner. Really is the full package of a rider now, isn't he? Incredible. Yeah, really just coming to the front now. And look at the way he's having to...